G diminished scale. The diminished scale is a series of uh, uh, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step um, tones. All right, it's, a, it's an eight note scale. Um, it's, um, it's, a, it's a bit more advanced. It's got a cool sound to it. Uh, you could play this one starting on the uh, sixth string, fifth fret with your first finger. A lot of the jazz guys and ladies, what they do is they usually slide, slide. So this, then you can keep this consistent finger uh, pattern. So sixth string, third fret, first finger slide from the uh, third fret to the fourth fret. Then play three, four on the sixth and seventh frets. So you're playing like uh, one, three, four. Change strings to the fifth string on the fourth fret. Slide from the fourth fret to the fifth fret. Three, four. Change strings on the fourth string to the fifth fret. Slide from the fifth fret to the sixth fret. Three, four. Change strings on the on the G string to the sixth fret. Slide from the 6th fret to the 7th fret with your 3rd finger. Play the 3-4. Now you got to go up uh, a whole step on the B string. So you start on the B string on the 8th fret. Slide from the 8th um, uh, fret to the ninth fret with your 1st finger. 3-4 on the 10th and 11th and 12th rather. Now I'm on the 1st string. I'm on the ninth fret with my 1st finger. Slide up to the 10th fret. Three, four. And that's not starting on the sixth string. There's a basically there's different types of diminished scales, but the, the two that are most used are the, the diminished and the dominant uh, seventh diminished scale. And I'm just dealing with the diminished scale today in the key of a G. Of course, you can transpose. You can take that same same pattern and go to the other 11 keys on the guitar. Uh, so if you're starting on the fifth string, you want to start on the 10th fret and use the exact same finger picking pattern. So I'm on the 10th fret, fifth string with my first finger. I slide up to the 11th fret with my first finger, three, four. And then I go to the 11th fret on the fourth string, slide up to the 12th fret, three, four. Third string, 12th fret, slide from the 12th to the 13th fret, 3-4, which, you know, would be on the you know 15th and 16th frets. When I say 3-4, I mean that, you know, you're going to skip your second finger and go up a whole step with your third finger, and then 4, you go up another half step, or just, okay, just a fret. A whole step is two frets, a half step is just one fret. So we'll take that from the beginning again, back on the 5th string, 10th fret. Slide from the 10th to the 11th fret with your first finger. Okay, I went from the 11th to the 12th on the 4th fret. 3rd, 4th finger, now I'm on the 3rd string again. Sliding from the 12th to the 13th frets. 3, 4. And now I'm going to go on the 14th fret, 2nd string. And then... 15th fret on the 1st string, sliding up to the 16th fret, and then finally uh, going on the 18th and 19th frets. Play it a little bit slower. Now if you wanted to add, I don't know, like a little bit of funk, say I'm playing the G 13th, I'm playing the G 13th, some of you are familiar with the G 13th on the 1st fret. I'm gonna play the G 13th. Looks like a ninth chord, so my second finger is on the 10th fret, uh, fifth string. And my first finger, I'm gonna be playing the ninth fret, fourth string. I'm gonna bar the first three strings, okay? But my, then my fourth finger is gonna play the 12th fret on the first string. So I'm barring on the 10th uh, fret, the third and second first strings with my third finger, putting my fourth finger on the first string 12th fret. You can strum it, G 
13th. I like this. So I'm going G13. Or I'm starting from a ninth actually, which is just for second and third finger. It's just like second finger is not going to be on the uh, tenth fret. Fifth string, first finger is going to be on the ninth fret, fourth string. And then I'm barring the first three strings with my third finger. Ninth, thirteenth, passing tune, tone back to the ninth. Put some inside nines in, minor sevens. But don't worry about that so much. You can just play it like G9, G13, passing tone. Then you can go. So practice that. You got any questions, uh, ask me. Please like and subscribe this channel. Uh, don't forget to transpose. Go to different positions using that pattern. Remember, it's basically just a one slide up, three, four, one, slide, three, four, so on and so forth, like I explained. Good luck and have fun with it.